<clears throat> Hello, I'm Kelly Antonacci with a Temple Update special report. As of 5.15 this morning, the SEPTA strike is finally over and trains are back on the tracks. Members of the Transportation Workers Union and SEPTA have reached a tentative five-year contract that ended the six-day holdout. Sem SEPTA officials say the new deal ensures fair wages, pension improvements, and affordable health care for all SEPTA employees. And subway service is currently being restored to normal throughout the city, but buses and trolleys might take longer to get back on the streets. Our target Hauk is live outside the Cecil B. Moore subway stop with more. Tag, what can you tell us? Yeah, Kelly, you know, the scene behind me right here, you'll probably be able to see some folks file out from the subway station. But right now, subway service is back. Now, it's running a little bit late. It's about 20 minutes instead of the usual six. And as for those SEPTA buses, they're hoping to get those buses back on the road today. Now, as far as service is concerned, SEPTA says they hope to be fully restored back and ready by rush hour tomorrow morning. A sight for sore eyes. Subway cars rolling in and out this morning at Cecil B. Moore Station. Folks eager to get to where they need to be. It's been six days since members of TWU began their strike. Well, um, I go to community college and it's over an hour walk, so I had to walk there and back. And I also work in Center City, so I had to walk there and back. And it was very uh, inconvenient. Uh, it's been difficult to come to school and stuff like that because I had class at 1. and I, I, had, I had class at 1 and I had to wake up at 7.30 to go to school. It was pretty a messed up situation. Despite the struggles, now many are optimistic. I still had to wake up early for today but tomorrow I can go back to my normal schedule. Now, Kelly, as far as that agreement goes, there's still a lot of work to be done. It has to be approved by, it has to be approved by the SEPTA board and ratified by union members. Of course, we'll keep you up to date with more details as they come. But for now, reporting live at the Cecil B. Moore subway station for Temple Update, I'm Taggart Houck. Tiger, thank you. Even with SEPTA back online, road closures are currently in effect for tonight's Hillary Clinton rally at Independence Mall. You can see here that Market Street will be closed between 4th and 7th Streets, 5th Street will be closed between Arch and Market, and 6th Street will also be closed between Arch and Chestnut Streets. And the Market Frankfurt line will not stop at the 5th Street station outside of Independence Mall. Temple Update's cameras will be rolling at Clinton's final rally in Philadelphia tonight. For details on that story and much more, be sure to tune in to Temple Update's live election night coverage on TUTV tomorrow night. That's starting at 8 p.m. And as always, be sure to log on to TempleUpdate.com and follow us on all of our social media outlets for updates on SEPTA service as they come. I'm Kelly Antonacci. Now back to your regularly scheduled programming already in progress.